Top 5 Best BL Series of 2020 So Far Part 2 Covering Releases from May to August 2020 First off, can we just say how high the quality of BL series has been in the middle of 2020? Despite the pandemic, we've been lucky to have these BL series keep us company during our days in lockdown. It's amazing how the BL genre has remained resilient and even flourished during this time, proving to everyone that these are stories that need to be told. Number 5. Hello Stranger One of the first BL series to come out of the Philippines, Hello Stranger got major attention with the casting of popular Filipino matinee idol Tony Labrusca in the lead role, together with relative newcomer JC Alcantara. Viewers also expected much from the series knowing that a major Philippine film studio, Black Sheep, is behind its production. How did they fare, you might ask? We believe extremely well. Hello Stranger tells the story of Xavier, a college jock and heartthrob, and Miko, a model student, who were unexpectedly paired together for a class project. What starts out as an awkward roommate relationship with the two of them having almost nothing in common somehow becomes warm and friendly as the days go by, eventually resulting in a deep connection none of them were prepared for. With the COVID-19 pandemic severely limiting the range of the scenes that can be shot, Hello Stranger had to work extra hard to make sure it delivers. And it does. Thanks to some good writing and innovative direction. We did however felt like the second half of the series is much stronger than the first, and the series does sometimes struggle getting a tight grip on the viewer because it doesn't really dig deep enough into the characters outside of their relationship bubble. When it's good however, it truly shines. Some of our favorite scenes in the show include the one where they watched the movie together, performance of their project which was just brimming with emotion. Just say it. <laughs> its best assets of course are its two lead actors who are utterly captivating in their roles and are irresistible when their eyes and smiles meet each other's. Sparks just seem to fly, and they never fail to make our hearts flutter. Kudos also to its superb supporting cast who holds their own and gives a lot of color to the series. Hello Stranger is available to stream on Black Sheep's official YouTube channel. Number 4 Life Senjo no Bokura Based on a yaoi manga of the same title, Life Senjo no Bokura or Life Love on the Line is a BL series unlike any of its peers. Divided into four chapters, it chronicles the love story of Yuki and Akira, from meeting each other as teenagers struggling with their identities, to falling in love, to facing the harsh realities of becoming adults in a relationship that's uncommon to the world around them. The story spanning decades, it begs the question, can love between two men stand the test of time and pressure from society, or is it just for the young and the wild at heart? No. I'm going to go. It's actually a tall ask, a lead actors Raiku and Shirasujin playing their characters from adolescence up to adulthood, but they pull off the job convincingly well. The development of their characters throughout the years is amazing to watch and by the end of the series, you'll be heavily invested in how their relationship turns out. If anything, we wish we were given more romantic moments between the two as that was what felt a little bit lacking throughout the episodes. What we especially love about life is that it never pretends that life being in a non-traditional relationship even in modern Japan is full of roses. It doesn't set up an ideal. It truthfully depicts the hardships you have to go through in school, in the workplace, or with your own family just to be who you are and to be with who you love. And that choices, particularly ones made against your best instincts, have consequences that could take a long time to make right. 
It's not entirely depressing, however, because the series also teaches us that no matter what, being true to yourself is always the best path, and what is considered normal is a mere construct. Episodes 3 and 4 particularly are especially noteworthy because they tackle themes that most other BL series cannot touch. Technically, we like that it's beautifully shot and that it serves some really good J-Rock music for its soundtrack. It may not serve the biggest romantic thrills as the other series, but life is definitely real and the ending is a highlight. Life, Love on the Line is available to stream on Viki and WeTV. Number 3 Where Your Eyes Linger this next series gives its own take on the master-servant trope often used in Asian dramas and brings it to the BL genre. Where Your Eyes Linger follows the story of Han Teju, a happy-go-lucky table heir, and Kang Gok, his bodyguard who has served as his companion since childhood. Growing up together becoming tight friends, they eventually realize that they have developed romantic feelings for each other, thereby complicating their relationship. An 8-episode series of only 10 minutes each, Where Your Eyes Linger is a breeze to get through. It's pretty straightforward and its story arc is focused and simple. Watching it actually feels like watching a movie chopped into different episodes, which isn't surprising as we later found out that it was actually put together to make a feature-length movie eventually. The series stars swoon-worthy Korean actors Han Gi Chan and Jang Wei Soo, who are perfectly cast in their roles as Han Tae Joo and Kang Gook respectively. They also have great on-screen chemistry and they fit so well with each other that you miss them when they are not in the scene together. 나 근데 씻는 건 어떡해? 물안 닦게 잘 씻으면 되지. 한 손으로 머리를 어떻게 감아? 할수 있어? 아니 그냥 네가 해주면 되잖아. 싫어. 진짜 싫어. 아 왜? 깨끗하게 씻고 싶다고 찝찝한 거 싫어하잖아 나. 나네 보디가드지 네 집사 아니거든? Where Your Eyes Linger is mostly sweet and understated and that's exactly what we love about it because the intimacy of their relationship as master and bodyguard and possibly lovers just becomes so much more pronounced. There aren't a lot of grand gesturing to show affection but rather it's in how they look at each other, their body language, it's in the unsaid where their romance speaks volumes. I don't know 계속 안고 싶었어. 더 only time we feel like it actually misfires is when it tries to exaggerate action in some scenes because it feels like it's trying to be something it's not. Overall, this series is a triumphant delivery for South Korea from which a BL series of this caliber we've long been waiting to see again and we only wish we get more. Where your eyes linger is available to stream on Viki and WeTV. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and turn the notifications on for Countdown Ninja. For this list, the toughest call was between our top two. It was difficult, but here we go. Number 2. Still Together The sequel to early 2020 record-breaking series Together, Still Together is still as captivating and enthralling as its hit predecessor. Maybe even more. Following the stories of Tain and Sarawat in the honeymoon stages of their relationship, this five-episode limited series is like a celebration of all things we love about the couple. Their smiles, the way they look at each other, the way they care for one another, the sweet moments, and the mischiefs are all magnified as they reach a point when they are more comfortable with each other and in the relationship they chose to build. It's aspirational really as the mistrust, the confusion, and the overall precariousness that define their relationship in the beginning is not present here anymore. Instead, there is stability. With a limited number of episodes, naturally the story tackled and still together will not be as deep and twist-heavy as in their original run. Not to say though that there isn't meat in the story here because there is. A year after, ending up as presidents of separate clubs, Pine and Sarawat are presented situations where they are forced to choose between their relationship and their professional responsibilities. What's good here is that the show was able to present scenarios that tested their strength as a couple without resulting to soapy, overdramatic narratives. It almost provides a blueprint for how real-life couples can navigate their problems while making sure they look out for each other. เมื่อก่อนน่ะนะเถียงกันมากสุดก็เรื่องวันนี้จะกินอะไรแต่มึงดูเดี๋ยวนี้ดิเรื่องงานเรื่องชมรมเรื่องน้องๆอะไรก็
Also worth noting is how despite its short run, Still Together manages to push to the front the stories of the other supporting characters, their relationships, and make them more integral to the series than they have ever been before. The highlight, however, for us of the series has to be that Tain and Sarawat kiss that we all have been waiting for. Suffice it to say, they gave us that and more, and we cannot be any happier. Haven't seen it? Still Together is still available to stream from GMM TV's official YouTube channel as well as on I Want TFC. Number 1. Game Boys Nobody knew what to expect when Game Boys dropped in May in the middle of the pandemic. A BL series produced entirely during lockdown? That seems difficult. A love story told entirely through video chats and online conversations? Well, that's limiting. And given the Philippines' lack of track record in BL series here to 4, it might produce a nice cute series, sure, but that's probably it. Little did everyone know that this show will turn out to be one of the best BL series to come out in years. Game Boys tells the story of Gabriel, a gaming fan who has had an eye for Cairo popular live game streamer. With the intention of meeting his online crush, Gav challenges Kai to a match in one of his live streams. Gav ends up winning and convinces a hesitant Kai to allow him to get to know him privately. Thus begins a thrilling courtship that kept viewers glued to their screens. Pass or play? Play. Though difficult to pull off, Game Boys was able to create an online world of social media platforms no different from what we have in real life where relationships and real connections can exist and thrive convincingly. That although it has become our nature to distrust relationships born out of the internet, it indeed is possible. Three episodes in and we're buying it hook, line, and sinker. Thanks largely to the phenomenal charisma of actors Kokoy De Santos and Elijah Canlas, their unmatched chemistry, and the believability in their portrayal of their respective characters. The unusual format of relying on video calls and social media conversations as storytelling devices also offers an unintended but welcome consequence that Game Boys is able to capitalize on. The character is looking directly to the camera, which then gives the viewer a unique first-person point of view that situates them right in the middle of the scenes. Whenever Gavriel makes a pass at Cairo, for example, you as a viewer feel like he's directing it straight at you. And how does one viewer not feel weak at that look, that smile, those lines? bye. <laughs> Game Boys baits you with frilly romantic thrills, sure, but right at the cusp when viewers might feel that it's becoming grating, it surprises you by digging deeper into the characters, revealing their personal motivations and fully fleshing out their stories. Scenes that are handled beautifully by the two young leads who turn in some of the finest acting performances seen in any BL series. There is so much to love about Game Boys, including the character Pearl, who provides a good balance and voice of reason to the show. We believe, however, that the one thing that really elevates Game Boys above its contemporaries is its depiction of the social milieu in which it exists, the COVID-19 pandemic, which was masterfully integrated in both its story and its overall treatment. It sets up a ready connection with its viewers that transcends age, nationality, or gender and makes it an important piece of work even outside the BL genre, as it captures the zeitgeist of a very peculiar time. Game Boys is available to watch for free on Idea First Company's YouTube channel. And that's your list of the 5 best BL series from May to August 2020. How about you? What were your favorite series released during this period? Let us know in the comments below and watch out for part 3 of this video in the near future. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Countdown Ninja.